All right, let's be honest. Do I look as bad as I feel? <laughs> I have the worst night. <sighs> Who wants to hear my sad story? Well, you're gonna have to hear it or you can just mute the video. So, I drove my ex back to Vermont last night because he came down for court. And on the way back, my car started acting funny. The RPMs were like going weird and the car wasn't like going, there was like no power. It wasn't like going over 65. I didn't know what the heck was going on. So I pull off the exit into a gas station and I'm like Googling, you know, what's going on with my car. So Google says transmission, you know, check the fluid. And I've got a 2012 Nissan Rogue. So I'm like looking up how to check the transmission fluid and literally 45 minutes, I could not get the dipstick out. And finally this couple stops and they help me and we get the dipstick out and he's like, oh yeah, you need fluid. So go inside, get the fluid, come back out, put it in, give them hugs, offer them some money. They didn't, they wouldn't accept it. They were like, no, no, no. So I'm like, I just need to get home. I'm like over an hour away from home. Like, I just want to get home. Even if I only have to go 10 miles an hour, just get me home. So I start driving, the car would not go. So I had to get off another exit. And I pull into a closed CVS and there was a gas station across the street. And I'm like Googling, you know, how many quarts, like if it was empty, maybe I need more fluid. And then I realized that the fluid that we put in the car wasn't even the right kind of fluid. Apparently my car takes CVT fluid. So now I'm like, oh my God, we put the wrong fluid in the car. So I go to the other gas station, they don't sell it. And I walk down the street to another gas station, they don't sell it. Well, there's a Walmart up the street. Five miles an hour, my car was not, it was not even going over five miles an hour. I get into the Walmart parking lot and they're closed, but there's cars. So I go to the window and I'm like jumping up and down and waving and somebody, you know, I catch somebody's attention and he comes to the door and I'm like in tears. Like, I need help. I need this fluid. Please help me. Like, I'm an over an hour away from home. I don't know what to do. Like, please help. So. He goes and gets another guy and they both come out and I'm explaining, you know, I'm an hour away from home. This is what my car is doing. I think it's transmission fluid. I don't know, like, but I got to try. And they're like, well, our, you know, we go on break at midnight and the reg that's when the registers get turned on. So we can get the fluid for you, but you got to wait till midnight. I'm like, that's fine. I'll sit in the car. I don't care. Like, just please help me. So I sat in the car and waited and they came out with I gave them $60 they came out with two big things of fluid and a funnel so I go back to the car and I put like half of one in the car <laughs> the car wasn't even going like I put it in drive I hit the gas nothing was happening so I called AAA but guess what Triple A says, I'm sorry, but we don't have enough people on to drive you and your vehicle 63 miles tonight. But if you leave the key in the car, you know, we'll get to it tomorrow. And I'm like, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> They're like, well, if you get an Uber, we can reimburse you. So I'm like, all right. I'll set up an Uber. So I set up an Uber. It was like $79. Nobody was accepting it. Nobody was accepting the Uber. Now it's like 1.30 in the morning. I'm in tears. Got my period. One cigarette left. <laughs> they don't sell menthol in Massachusetts.
so here I am. Stranded in Northampton, Massachusetts, in the Walmart parking lot with my period. No cigarettes. Car won't run. AAA's not coming. Uber's not coming. It's like two in the morning. I'm in tears. Finally, my ex that I dropped off in Vermont calls me and says his neighbor is going to let him borrow the car to come get me and bring me back there. And I'm like, I can't go back to Vermont. Like, I'm that, I'll be stranded even farther away from home. I got to get home. Or just like, I said, just bring me closer to Connecticut. Maybe an Uber will pick up, you know, maybe somebody will pick up the Uber there. Like, bring me to the casino in Springfield, something. So, and bring me a pack of cigarettes. So he does, he shows up, brings me to a gas station so I can go to the bathroom. <laughs> they didn't even sell tampons. I got a cigarette though. So then he starts driving and then we're like in Connecticut and I'm not saying anything. I'm just sitting in the passenger seat. <laughs> now we're passing Hartford. He's like, I guess I'm taking you back home. I'm like, well, considering we're only like 15 minutes away. I guess so. Thank God. Thank God. And the tow truck, it's now in the afternoon on Sunday. The tow truck dropped the car off where I asked him to. And I called the owner and I said, listen, you remember me? I'm the one that you painted the grill pink on my Toyota. I had my car dropped off there. And he says, we don't do transmissions anymore. So I'm like, all right, well, it's Sunday. Everything is closed. Like, can my car just stay there overnight? Because they put the key in the drop box anyway. And tomorrow I'll call someplace else and I have it taken there. And he's like, yeah, you know transmission work is not cheap. I'm like, yeah. I know. I know. So that was my night. That's how I spent my Saturday night. The car uh, was died around 10 p.m. and I got picked up around 3 a.m. Got back here around 4 a.m. Worst experience ever. Worst experience ever. AAA, Uber. Thank God for those two guys at the Northampton, Massachusetts, Walmart for helping me, even though it didn't help me, but they helped me and the couple that helped me before them. There are still some good people in this world. Bye for now. I'll be back. I always come back. Even when I'm stranded in my car. <laughs>